Hello there, my name is Damon Metra, uh, and welcome to the Box Hurt Affection Update, and uh, many thanks for watching. So here are six new Ertl um, products that I've got. Um, so um, Edward Duck um, Bullstrode and Chinese Dragon um, I got off of eBay. And I've also got Jack and Alfie here and they came off of um, Amazon. Um, so first off we'll start with Edward. So here's Edward's Blue Engine. Um, I'm sure you can agree the packaging is really nice and I like this particular sort of packaging. Um, Edward's one of my favourite characters. Um, he was the first um, character that was actually ever created um, by the Reverend W. Audrey. And um, and so he's certainly one of my favourite characters, so one that I'm definitely re I'm really, really pleased to have. Of course, I'm happy to have all of them, but this is one I certainly like to have, and it's a really good style box. Um, and then he's got a nice description card that tells you about Edward. Um, the historical note that he's based on the 440, um, so collector card number 2, Edward being the number 2 engine. There's a little sticker there that says BTs. Um, as I said, I think this is a really good model of Edward. Um, it looks just like what he looked like in the uh, TV series uh, throughout the model era. Um, and I suppose in some ways it's similar to what he looks like in the CGI series now. Um, so the next one I got is Duck. Again, um, this looks like a really nice Duck. It looks just like he did in the TV series. Um, and again, sort of similar to the CGI series, but he looks a lot different in the CGI series compared to his actual uh, model, I think it's fair to say. Um, so if we turn over to the back of the box again, you can see a little BT sticker there, which is obviously where uh, the person that got it from got it before me. Um, nice subscription card. Shows you all the cats you can buy. Uh, collector card number 8, Duck being the number 8 engine. Um, again, it's a really good bo uh, style box. Um, the packs all packaging that I like. And Duck was a character, again, that I quite liked. So again, I'm really pleased to own this one. Um, next one to move on to is Jack. Um, and in the CGI series, both Jack and Duck are voiced by the same voice actor, uh, Stephen Kinman. Um, I assume that's how his last name is pronounced. And Jack was one of the last uh, characters to be introduced in the Ursula range. Uh, the range was discontinued in 2004, which is when Jack was brought out, along with um, Arthur, Fergus, Murdoch and Jock, uh, and Alfie, who we'll move on to in a bit. Uh, again, this looks like, just like what Jack looked like in the TV series in the model era. Um, in the CGI series, he ends up getting a square face. Um, I'm not so keen on Jack with the square face. I, mean, I prefer Jack with the um, round face because it makes him look young, enthusiastic, that sort of thing. So I really I prefer what Jack looks like here to what he looks like now. Uh, so collector card number 99. Um, and again, quite a nice animation. Again, I like this style of box. I mean, it was the only style of box that Jack was introduced in because it was time that he came out he was introduced uh, in that style of box so and, and say so, a really nice model again I've got this one out of the box um, but let's say now I've got a box one I saw this on Amazon and it wasn't um, as cheap as some of my other ones I got um, but it was one that I really wanted and you have to ask yourself how much you want something and it seemed too much of a good deal to miss um, I had seen it a lot more expensive on eBay on auction, so, so this one came from Amazon, um, along with Alfie. Uh, so here's Alfie. Um, again, Alfie's a really good model. Um, it's a nice little animation. Um, again, it comes with a new item sticker, which a lot of the last um, sort of Ertl products came in. Uh, I think it's better to say he looks more or less what he looked like in the TV series, um, but probably a different shade of green here. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, and collect card number 100. You can see a nice description. Again, it was in, uh, brought out in 2004 when the last sort of few characters were released. Um, Alfie's Ertl model is actually quite big. Um, he's even taller than some of the uh, engines I found. Um, but I think Ertl, Ertl, although they didn't always get the scale right, um, the detail on all the models they did was absolutely superb. 
I mean, I suppose, yes, um, scale is included when you talk about uh, detail. Um, but I, say, I think I say, yeah, it's uh, certainly one of um, Ertel's best models, uh, detail-wise overall. Um, again, one I'm really pleased to have, um, quite hard to get. Been, um, I found like the last sort of few engines really hard to get, mainly because obviously there wasn't as many of them made. Um, next one we'll move on to is Bullstrode the Barge. Uh, Bullstrode only appeared um, in one episode of the TV series. Uh, he was also in one, one story of the Railway series. Um, however, he appeared in a number of magazines. Um, and again, I really like this box and the animation at the top, well, illustration used, um, is a lot different to what you find on most of the other um, Ertel things. And I mean, like, obviously you've got a lighthouse and obviously the harbour sort of thing. A detail you'd never find um, on any of the other collector car cards. Uh, most of them, as you saw, I, um, on Edward were like, uh, so just that sort of thing really, that sort of illustration, um, but then different engines put in place. Um, so like I said, it's got a different, Bullstrode's got a different sort of uh, background on his card. Um, we turn over. Um, it's a, again, a nice description card. Um, talks about his de debut episode. Um, even uses the term special attraction, which was the, the episode that he was in. Um, he's collected card number 53. Um, again, you can see all the other ones you can buy there. Um, so that's Bullstrode. And the next one is the Chinese Dragon, uh, which was first introduced in Series 3. Uh, the Chinese Dragon was also in Series 10 and in Series 11. Um, so, and, and so it was one that I really liked. Um, Again, not much to say really. Uh, got a nice description card on the back. Uh, it shows you all the other ones you can buy. It's number 54 there, which is um, after Bullsh Road. Um, and so, so that's the uh, Chinese Dragon. And uh, I've got a few more um, which I'll show you. Uh, so here are the last three that I wanted to show you. Um, so first off, we'll start with James. Um, again, James is one of my favourite characters. Um, and I really like the again, I really like the illustration. A uh, good model of James, more or less what he looked like in the uh, TV series. I think it's fair to say. Uh, James has certainly had some, of, I think, the best episodes. Um, I like a lot of the episodes that James has been in. Um, Again, there's a nice uh, description card. Um, again, it's a, it's a nice description. Um, you can see it comes from BTs again. I've got a few others from. Uh, and it says also uh, it was made in 1993. Actually, that's what it means. And 1993 was the year that I was born. Uh, so that's James, one I'm very pleased to own. Uh, next, we've got Bulgy. So again, um, re I think a really good picture of Bulgy. Um, Bulgy was first introduced in Series 3. Um, he then became a hen house. Um, and then in Series 7, uh, he came back um, as a bus for passengers. Um, and in the same episode, he was then painted green. Um, and I think it's a shame they never brought green Bulgy out in um, in the Ertel range. Um, but as I say, at that point, the range was being discontinued anyway. Um, and if Bulgy had come out green uh, in this range, I'd certainly uh, and quite happily buy it. Um, and say, so. um, again, a nice description card. Um, obviously, it says that he's he's in use as a hen house. Obviously, at this point, that series seven episode hadn't been uh, broadcast. Um, again, it says nineteen ninety three. On the box, so assuming that was the year it was made. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree that's a really nice looking model of Bulgy. Uh, the last one I've got here is a very, very big one. Um, it is the Dyson Low Loader. 
And again, this isn't really a character, but it's one that's appeared in many different Thomas episodes um, in the background. And if you're building a model railway, it will look really good in your layout, um, which I think is a good thing about the, a lot of the Ertel um, vehicles, like Bold, you've just seen Jack and Alfie and Bullstrode, because they look really good on your layout overall, I think it's fair to say. Um, and if you look on the back, there's no this These styles didn't come with descriptions. Um, it was just very basic, and it says this was made in 2002, which I think, was, to my knowledge, was the year it was actually released. Um, I do actually have it on the poster, as you can see here. So that's uh, all the ones I've got for the time being. Uh, so hopefully when I get some more, I'd intend to do another box turtle collection update. And if you've got any questions to ask, uh, feel, please feel free to ask. Um, and you can check out the description for the last um, seven videos I've done. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, and also, this one was from Tootley Thomas, um, and I got this when I, from the shop that I got my Backman Sky Louis from, um, and I know the owner quite well, and he invited me to come and collect it, and then I saw this one and brought it there and then. Um, so I say thank you very much for watching. Um, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you like it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, uh, goodbye.